I'm Senong Hazel from Chadwick Academy and I've been lucky enough to be awarded a bursary in the Natural History Museum in the Entomology Department. It's not just me, I'm with asthma as well and it's good to know someone else is the same age as you, different school. My name is Asma Karishi and I come from Wandsford High School. People come to the museum to find information. But the thing is, it's also half of it is also a research centre, so behind the door. This is probably the biggest collection of flies in the entire world. God, they're huge. By the way, if you ever get a huge mosquito flying at you, yes. you're generally OK. It's a daunting thought, surrounded by scientists who obviously know what you're doing and me just coming from my first year of A-level and A-level biology. So they look like to me they're oh, wearing um, leg, yeah, warmers. leg warmers. Okay, well, we should, should try that. <laughs> Every enough of a student has a mentor and I've been really lucky to be put with Erica McAllister. She is a great enthusiast for flies and insects. She just loves them. Right, so this is what everyone has an issue with flies. They look scary, they look big. That one's cute, oh, it's very pretty. pretty. Thank you very much, you can stay here forever. <laughs> I spent four weeks coming in, nine till five, no. finding out about insects and flies. You get £80 a week and that goes towards your travel and your food costs. Oh, and this one looks good as well, don't it? Look. Like Professor Garnham, we're working on his work, his portfolio. Um, he was a very traditional um, parasitologist. We're looking through his slides, his pictures, his letters, his personal letters, and we're just sort of trying to bring together all his work. And it's important we do that because there may be an important piece of information that he found back then that scientists now may have overlooked. And this picture was the yeah, effects of the infection. infection. We could put that on our report. Yeah. It's, it's sort of one in a lifetime opportunity, really, coming behind the scenes. Not many people get to do that. You know, I'm not scared of flies anymore. I don't sort of scream and run away. My name's Ife, 17, and I go to Christ the King Sixth Form College in Lewisham. And I'm here in the biochemical engineering department at University College London. I am researching about cells and how they adhere to surfaces. I'm basically adding the base for the PDMS. I need to mix it together to form air bubbles. This is because when we put it in the degassing machine, the air bubbles will go down and make it homogeneous and flat. Yeah. I work closely with Alex. He has the he does the big picture stuff, but I just I'm just doing one of the little things that he doesn't have time to invest in. This is the degasser and it's basically degassing the PDMS and I'm just, every time bubbles come up I have to open this valve a little bit so air can come in and the bubbles can go down. When I came for the induction I did think that maybe the stuff they'll be doing in uni is a bit too advanced for me or for my level but when you actually get here they make sure you're capable of actually carrying out the project because they won't give you something you can't do. My name is Ian Lung and I'm from QE Boys and what I've been doing in UCL is working on how bacteria would adhere to the surface of polycarbonates and it's very similar to Ife's project but instead of using bacteria she's using cells. So at the moment I'm trying to plasma treat the polycarbonate and what you need to do is you need to get the conditions just perfect for it. Okay, This, this is a piece of polycarbonate which I have just plasma treated. It's, it's quite hard to understand at the beginning but as you read through journals and, and understand more about what's happening it's you get to learn a lot more stuff. I am considering to do engineering, not biochemical but chemical engineering. I thought before my idea about engineering was you know tools everywhere and didn't know what the name of the tools were and all of that. Um, this has yeah. really allowed me to experience what engineering is really about. Well, I'm Sarah Mitchell, I'm from Kamalasi College which is in Darlington and I'm thinking about going into research after university so I sent in an application about expressing my interest with genetics and got put in the genetics lab and I've just been looking at gene expression. How's it going? Um, yeah, this is just my final one actually. Okay. I spent most of my time with, with Nita who is a postdoc student. So the first two weeks we were working in the labs here, 
It's so different to what we have at college. We don't have any of this equipment, which is really exciting. The equipment's so expensive and it's just so interesting to use. And we collected a lot of data. Then in the second two weeks, we were just analysing the data using online databases. It was just, it was really nice because it all linked together really well. There's a lot of PhD students and other people working in the labs that we can talk to. We've had lunch with them a bit. It was my birthday lately, so we all met up and had a surprise. Birthday, surprise. <laughs> my name's Shannon Aziz. I'm just doing a summer placement at the MRC CSC, which is part of the Medical Research Council. And currently I'm studying at City and Islington Sixth Form College, and I'm doing my A levels. And I'm doing biology, chemistry, physics, maths, and first maths. My A levels reflect that I am a science person. I love science. I love the vastness of science. I love how it explains things which you wouldn't really understand. What I'm looking at, I'm looking at diet. So specifically, I'm looking at the effect of a yo-yo diet on your liver. And what I'm trying to find out is what happens on a molecular level, what happens to the proteins in your liver. And the methodology I'm using is Western blotting, which is a quite common procedure, but it's quite complex and requires a lot of practice and it requires a lot of patience. Hi, I'm James Wilkinson, and I'm studying at the Cardinal Vaughan Memorial School in Kensington. We've been uh, ext uh, extracting tissue and analysing it for levels of protein which could be related to risk factors in obesity. So he's going to insert 20 microliters of proteins into these wells, and then we're going to close the lid and current is going to be passed through these two electrodes and the protein is going to separate according to their mass. Well the way I look at it is that Britain is facing an epidemic of obesity and what I'm doing, I'm not just doing a placement for my own benefit, I'm actually contributing to their work. They will use my data and they will use the work that I have done. Probably what I'm doing now might be written in a book in 50 years time and an A-level student might read it. It's four weeks and it's four weeks doing something that you actually you will enjoy and you actually, funnily enough, you actually look forward to waking up early in the morning. <laughs> it gives you an idea of what you really want to apply for in uni because some people, they, they just apply for engineering and they don't really know what it's about. I'm thinking of studying chemical engineering and it's helped me in my process because it's showed me a career pathway that I can go into after I've graduated from university. Well I think that anyone who is thinking about applying to this should really go ahead with it because it just gives you so many useful skills and it just kind of prepares you for university and just helps you kind of realise that this is what you want to do.